Oh, Steve's not with me here today, unfortunately. He died. But, you know. Oh, Steve! Hey, uh, what you I, doing I was here? just drink, drinking some ginger ale, you know. Oh, I, I totally wasn't, um, uh, um, hey, you want to play, uh, okay. uh, Choice of Deathless? Yeah, why not? Oh. All right, let's, um, let's go. Okay, uh, we just caught the picture. Hell's shit, God damn it! no big deal, I bandage my thumb and get on with my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not like it's permanent damage. Yeah. <laughs> get on with your life. Move, move on. Move along. Wrap your thumb in tissue paper, stem the bleeding, which should help. You hear a knock on the door, and a second later, it opens to admit Kasawari Chen, another first-year associate with, or er, at, Var Varkath Nebuchadnezzar. So. So. Yeah, so if we go to show stats. Yeah. Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, Let's so see. is Varkath Nebuchadnezzar. Stone. Oh, what the balls. That's okay. three of them. Uh, yeah, sure. So it could be a, um... Fuck, what's it called in business? Oh. No, it's... When when something's too much money to invest in a loan, they'll get a couple of other companies to invest in it together. Uh-huh. Ah, my business teacher would be so pissed at me right now. Oh, damn it. Fuck, I'll remember later. Okay. Um. She, bore, she started a week ago, same as you, and... For both of you, the last seven days have been a solid wall of training. She glances down at your thumb with concern. Oh, wait. She's borne it well, better than you feel you have. Like you, Cass wears a dark gray skirt suit. She's an intense five foot five or so. Dark hair, expensive features, given to sharp, broad gestures with her hands while talking. She glances down at your thumb with concern. Are you okay, Lexan? <laughs> I thought this place could use a little bit more color. Um, okay. Let's be. If you stab your foot, sorry. What are you looking for? Okay, hold on, move this foot. I've moved both of okay, my feet. Good. You my... see, I, bro I broke the. I took the tab off this, and then I broke the tab, and I didn't want you to stab yourself on metal. It's okay. I thought this place could use a little more color anyway. <laughs> yes, yes, I like it. <laughs> That's what you mean. And it feels like blood's the only color they like seeing around here. Trust me, I looked through the employee handbook. Anyway, she says... It's all written in blood. <laughs> they don't use ink there, they just use blood. Pat and I thought we might meet for dinner before this casino night orientation thing. Pre-game a little. You want to come? I'd love to. You're going to that? I thought I might skip. It's more just social play nice stuff, right? Pat? Why not just the two of us? <laughs> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Eh, I'll leave by myself. Have fun. That feels more sad. Yeah, because... Uh, I thought we'd meet... See you in my orientation. This could be a great chance... Okay, I'm just gonna... To curry some favor with these people. So that they will help us later. And also give us a position to step on them later. I don't like stepping on people. Can you... It's because you're weak, Steve. Okay, you need to get up for a second. And we need to brush this out when we're done. Okay. Or, or we could hit on her. So, how do you want to play this, Steve? Okay. I don't like the idea of stepping on people. I like the idea of... What, them... what do we want? What's our main goal here? I don't know. That's, that's, that's what we should decide. Yeah. What I want to play a guy who just who does whatever he wants and is impulsive. He just wants to do what he wants. I don't like impulsivity. Or uh, want a guy who just wants he wants to get power. Wants I'm not to power hungry either. I don't like power hungry people. You're kind of power hungry, but okay, listen. Yeah. We're a guy in hell. We can't be the happy-go-lucky guy. <laughs> that's true. So are we? Are we the guy? Skip just social play nice stuff. Let's go. I'm thinking either that one or that one. Yeah, it just depends. How do you want to play this? What kind of character do we want to be? Because what, what what exactly would this make us? You know what I mean? It would get it would get us into bed with her. That's that's what the ultimate goal of that is. I love to would introduce us to Pat. Pat, and then we can curry favor with him, which will be utilized later. Yeah. Let's be power hungry. Let's. 
you okay. know what? Fuck everything. We're going to rule hell. All right. Let's or whatever the fuck this is. Too. Great. She shoots you a thumbs up and ah! scribbles down the ax the address of a bar not far from Casino Night. In what? We'll meet there at seven, okay? Then she's gone in a flare of jacket and skirt and clicking heels. If you want to meet her by seven, you'd best get home. You have some work to do. If you know what I mean. You're still living out of boxes. And it would be <laughs> There's nice a to... box on the street. <laughs> and it would be nice to stop that one of these days. You have barely enough time to get home, unpack a little, and return. Lucky for you that it's still the first week of training. In a month, once the work picks up, you doubt you'll ever get you'll ever see a sunset that's not filtered through glass. Too many dead men to be raised, gods to be wrestled, laws of reality to be violated. You know, the usual life of a craftsman. Home waits, though, for now. And where is home, anyway? Rents higher, close to the office. But the closer you are, the shorter the commute. And the shorter the commute means more sleep, which makes everything in life easier. Okay. So... That's interesting. So we get a balance of money versus sleep. Yeah... So, we're already so far in debt. Extra frickin' hundred thousand dollars. I figure... Listen, if we can get good job and shit, they will pay us a ton, a ton of money. Yeah. And we'll pay it off. So I figure, right now, just go all in. Damn the expense. Damn the expense. Damn the expense! <laughs> Sir, put the expense... Damn the expense, soldier! We'll pay whatever it takes! Downtown Chicago is a pricey place, but this job will take you enough of your life without you having to sacrifice more of it to a daily commute. Even if you feel like your landlord is a vampiric scum. Not that you have anything against vampires, mind. Salt of the earth. Well, not literally. We're not racist here. <laughs> yep, no, no, of course not. You walk home along downtown steel canyons and soon reach Celestial Towers, an art deco titan of steel and concrete. Sides decorated with aluminum thunderbolts and brass suns. The lobby's all plush cushion and chrome. Not bad. Not bad at all. The elevator doesn't even wear as it drags you up to your 14th floor apartment. Mm. Holy shit, he could have just gone plush like a first floor, first floor they were or all, something. Yeah, all the people, they wanted the lowest floors because they were cheaper. We, we were, we're getting the penthouse, man, one day. Damn the expense. Holy shit. Wait, okay. what? Okay. Speaking of rents, and commutes, and similar topics, what kind of life are you living exactly? By which I mean, when you left the hidden schools to embark on a path of high thomatology, thomaturgy, sorry, you were carrying about 100,000 thomes in debt. Thomes is the money. I see. Currently, your soul is only worth about 2,000. Oh, gosh. So you can sell your soul. 2,497. Your salary is 100... Wow, that's that's that's, that's a, a damn good salary. So if we paid off all of our student debt at once, we would have sixty thousand left over. Let's say a hundred thousand after all your various fees and obligations to the. I see. Debt obviously is debt. The hidden soul, the hidden schools lay claim to your soul and all its future products. As long as you carry this debt, you will never be free. Mad necromancers can and will hunt you to the ends of the earth. So. That said, how much of your salary after take care of rent and living expenses to goes towards debt? How much of it of your how much of it is yours to spend? Okay. Um. Listen, we ha we gotta get rid of the debt. We do. So it can't be the last one. Instant I think, noodles. I have no idea how much the apartment costs. Is there is there yeah. something that tells you? Kind of. 100,000 after all your various fees and obligations to the city of Shikar canceled. Okay, so, so 100,000 in debt and 100,000. So basically, after this, we'll basically bankrupt if we pay off the debt immediately. We would have, we'd be 40,000 in debt still. And then next what? sell. How? Because 100,000 will go, so we'll have 60,000 left. You, your salaries, 160,000 in thumbs. Yeah. Let's say 100000 after all your various fees and obligations to the city of, Sh of Shikara handled. So you got 60000 after all of the... Um... No, it's saying that this is your salary. Mm -hmm. The 100000 hundred is going is going to be your salary after your fees and obligations are handled. 
So basically, we have a hundred. Okay. Yeah. So we can pay that off immediately. Yeah, we can pay it off immediately. Well, no, because we still have to eat instant noodles. But yeah, and salaries are monthly, right? Me depends. I think. I, I'm pretty sure there's a weekly salary stuff, monthly salary stuff. So it's either so either it's two weeks or two months, and it'll be gone. And then we don't have to deal with it anymore. And then we can live luxuriously. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so let's just fucking get rid of it. Your apartment is a mess of boxes. Piles by the door, in the hall, in the center of the room. You have a bed and have pillows. A bed. Have but pillows. That's the limit. Everything else Push is cardboard. Push it to the limit, limit. Everything else is cardboard and packing tape. You glance ruefully at your watch. Set down your briefcase and start unpacking. At this rate, you might have time to do something other than unpack and go to firm functions sometime around two months from now. Hey, you were right. Though that's an opt optimistic estimate. Oh, damn. You manifest a knife out of your own soul stuff and start tearing open boxes. You have used something more prosaic, but your knives and scissors are, prosaic. of course. That's uh, how it would be pronounced. Because uh, you keep correcting me, asshole. Well, anyway, continue. But your knives and scissors are, of course, packed. <laughs> damn it. That should be the first thing you open, then. You have, damn it, you haven't looked at your watch in a while when you hear a knock at the door. You're late, you're late, for a very important date. Okay, well, we shall figure out who this, actually, the viewers will probably read this and pause it, I don't know. Don't worry, I'll cover but, it, now they can't see. Yeah, that, yep, cover the screen with your hand, Max. Alright, um, but okay, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya!